Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the U.S. government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't outfit the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly, I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government, and I was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural AUG made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Dr. Wing said our situations would resonate. I don't think he realized it might go both ways. Some men deserve the justice we bring on them. Do what you have to do, Zelazny. I won't get in your way. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill. They have names, families, they're people. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me, taunt me until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. Hey, Jensen. Zelazny here. Zelazny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got them to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it. You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I 
got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. Look, you're a powerful young woman. You're in a position that warrants your access to classified information. I understand that not everybody should get their hands on this, but I'm like you. I work for a powerful man, and I get entrusted with secret information on a daily basis. Plus, I'm the one who busted his ass getting this chip for you. I guess your point is not entirely without merit. But understand, this information is extremely confidential. It concerns Panchea, and more specifically, the Hiram Project. Hiram Project? Never heard of it. I'm not surprised. It is a well-guarded secret. But without it, Panchea could not exist. Such an ambitious project. An installation extending all the way to the ocean floor. The pressure exerted against it is constantly shifting. Yet the slightest defect in structural integrity could bring it all down. That's why we needed something powerful and extremely efficient to monitor it day and night. You're saying the Hyron project is some kind of advanced computer? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Thank you for your honesty. The information is safe with me, don't worry. Here's your data chip. Ah, perfect. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. <laughs>